Hello everyone, it's Monsignor Baker and welcome to the Mount St. Mary Seminary Alumni Reunion. Unfortunately, I can't be there right now and I'm able to provide this video message a little bit ahead of time because at this time, Monsignor Frontero, who is the new Director of Human Formation, and I are in Boston. We are attending the National Conference of Diocesan Vocation Directors and unfortunately, I just don't have the gift of bilocation right now. I'm working on it, but uh, I'm in Boston and I really just wanted to provide this message to you to welcome you uh, on behalf of the entire seminary. I'd like to begin, first of all, by thanking Father Ken Briganti, uh, the Director of uh, Pastoral Field Education, as well as Vice Rector for welcoming you and uh, directing these uh, couple of days. I also want to thank, in a very special way, Marianne Shields, who has been working so hard, especially over the last couple of months, to keep everything going in the Development Office and Alumni Relations. Thank you very much, Marianne, for everything. I begin with some congratulations. First and foremost, I congratulate Father Charles Weiser and his classmates from the year 1966. This year they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. We also have members of classes uh, that are celebrating other anniversaries, such as the class of 1971, their 45th anniversary, 76, their 40th, 81, 86, 91 is celebrating their silver anniversary, their 25 years of priesthood. Uh, this is a very special year for me as well because I was also ordained in 1991. Congratulations to the classes of 1996, 2001, 2006, and 2011. I'd also like to congratulate Father Patrick Devine, the class of 69, who is from the Diocese of Harrisburg and is going to be the 41st recipient of the John Cardinal McCluskey Award. Thank you, Patrick, very much for all that you've done over the years as a priest and for the Mount. God bless you. This year, everyone, our enrollment is at 119 seminarians uh, from over 20 different partner dioceses. It's a great house, a great morale, and the men are really working very, very hard. Uh, at the end of August, we were able to welcome 40 new men to the Mount. Um, we are uh, in partnership with 21 dioceses and four different congregations of uh, religious life. Uh, we also have uh, 20 men who will be deigned, ordained to the diaconate this coming spring. Um, another little bit of news is that just a few weeks ago, we were able to bring the Vienna Cup back to the Mount. That is that soccer tournament that we have every year. There are four seminaries that are involved. Um, the Mount, St. Charles Seminary in Philadelphia, Theological College, and St. Mary's in Baltimore. You might also know that last spring we lost the Cup to Theological College, and so the men were very hungry to get it back. In our first match against the defending champions, Theological College, we beat them 3-0. And then in the afternoon, we faced in the final our host, St. Charles Seminary, and we beat them three to nothing. So the Vienna Cup is back at the Mount. Uh, but it was really was a wonderful time of fraternity, uh, of camaraderie, prayer. It was an opportunity for the seminarians from all four of those seminaries to meet and to talk. Uh, many of them had their own diocesan and brothers in some of these seminaries, so it was a great time of, as I said, fraternity and prayer. Uh, Father Ken Briganti and I were able to meet uh, the rectors of these different se seminaries and some of the formators, so a great time was had by all. We have a couple of upcoming seminary events that I wanted to make you aware of. Um, next week is fall break, and um, just as we do every fall and every spring break, a number of men, we have about 30 men, uh, and I will be going to the campus of George Mason University to conduct an evangelization mission trip. We will be in partnership with the Catholic chaplain there for the James Serby and the Focus Missionaries and be doing some um, literally street evangelization, bringing people co closer to Christ in a very loving way and through our conversation. And it's going to be a wonderful time to do uh, the new evangelization in a very concrete way. Uh, we also have candidacy mass coming up on November the 18th at 4 p.m. We're honored to have Bishop Barry Nestout, who's an alum of the Mount and also Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Washington to be celebrating that special mass for our, our seminarians. This coming December, we will once again conduct the deacon pilgrimage to the Holy Land. We will leave on December the 28th and come back on January the 14th, 2017. I'm very appreciative to all of the alumni who have uh, supported us through their prayers and particularly through your financial support. Uh, the seminary raises uh, quite a bit of money uh, to keep this program going, and it is a life-changing event 
for our deacons as they prepare for the priesthood. Five of those days during the pilgrimage are spent on retreat. It is their canonical retreat, their preparation for priesthood. And to do so at the very Sea of Galilee is a profound spiritual experience for them. And I thank you very much for helping us to make that experience possible. Well, everyone, again, enjoy the alumni reunion. Thank you so much for all of your support. And God bless each and every one of you.